What ways were you hard on LeBron? Well, it's a little bit of sensationalism. I wasn't that hard on him. But the one thing I will say is I held him to a very high standard because I knew he was going to be a terrific pro. And when you have good players, they want to be coached. And I, I can tell you that when I had LeBron, he wanted all that discipline. And, and really, he was the best player I've ever had as far as just what kind of teammate he was, understanding, you know, that other players are important to winning. And he's not much different uh, now than he was then. Coach, we've seen LeBron respond differently to different coaches throughout his career now. How, how did he respond to your coaching, your techniques at the beginning? He's the easiest guy I've ever coached in my life. Again, that was the first time I've ever coached in high school. I, I was always a college coach, and I held him to a college-type standard. Uh, I held him to a standard that the best players should be held to, and he never, he never blinked one time. And uh, again, like everybody thinks LeBron's great physically, which he is, but he's even better mentally. And obviously you dealt with coaching LeBron and the hype that started to generate and, and snowball throughout his two years with you. Uh, when that started to explode, did you notice any changes in him once the hype really started to pick up? No, not really. I think I noticed a lot of changes of, around, of, around the people that were around him. Obviously, you know, the more famous somebody becomes, uh, people start telling him how great he is. And so you had to hold him to even a higher standard because you didn't want him to get spoiled and pampered. And that's the thing I'm most proud of. You know, uh, most people don't live up to the hype and most people get affected by money and fame. But this guy has that burning desire to be the greatest ever. And he's never, he's never, uh, never lost that. You know, Coach, we always hear that LeBron sort of has the same crew around him that he has since he was in high school. Phil Jackson made a comment about LeBron and his posse. That's the word he used, and LeBron got very offended by that. What did you think of that situation, and were you surprised that LeBron took that to heart? LeBron cares about what people think, and that's a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, and again, I don't think LeBron has a posse. He just takes care of the people that have been good to him. Uh, I'm a perfect example. Uh, the Akron Zips and the Duquesne Dukes are LeBron James uh, shoe uh, deals. So he doesn't need Akron or Duquesne, but he, he cares about the people that have been good to him. And I think that's why he was upset by it. Mm, interesting. Flesh that out. What do you mean it's shoe deals? What does that mean? Well, there's two uh, exclusive LeBron equipment deals, Ohio State and now Duquesne. And, you know, again, uh, he could take other people like Kentucky or some of the big wigs, but he stays loyal to his high school coach. And that's a big deal for our program. That allows us to get better players.